Okay, we'll give you a little bit of an overview of the setup to connect the engine to a multifunction display, in this case the Garmin system. As you can see there's not a lot of room in the helm where to put a GPS or a fish finder or any any accessory you may want to add and the factory dash is a pretty simple tachometer and uh, speedometer over here. So all in all, if you really want to add a GPS or a um, fish finder, there's not a lot of options here in this small helm. So what I've done is uh, come back here in the engine. Obviously, when you add when you add a setup like this, and you're blocking out the engine um, gauges, so it was important to try to set uh, the multifunction display to this to be able to show the uh, engine RPM, temperature, and everything else that's behind the dashboard, um, and that's what uh, we're trying to do here. So we're using a NMEA 2000 installation which was done just for the multifunction display and over here um, we have the two Fortec engines they have, um, they have two di diagnostic connectors one is the OBDM connector here with an orange cap and then there is another connector right next to the fuse box which is the uh, Butts connector for the uh, BRP diagnostic system. So what I did is uh, I we, we tap into the Butts connector, which is really this one here. And I plug in the engine gateway into that Butts connector, and the engine gateway had another kind of pigtail coming in the back of it, of it, which is now the new diagnostic connector. Um, the pin pins on the uh, connector, if you can look at this here, is going to be the yellow cable is going to be your can high, the green is going to be your can low, then below it you have the ground and 12 volts on the other side. And there are two blanks in the connector as well. This is how it's uh, connected directly into the diagnostic port. And can high, can low, a ground, and positive on the other side. Uh, this is the, the, the buds connector here. So that connector was plugged into this dust cap here, which I'm now putting the extra pigtail in there in the dust cap and then uh, the engine gateway just hanging here for now uh, you can see that uh, let's see so yeah we have the engine gateway here Then it's connected directly into the connector, and then there is the NMEA 2000 cable going to the helm. So that's really about all the electrical connections that this entails. We can see um, engine parameters in the multifunction display for engine hours, engine boost, when it's when engines are running, you can see engine boost here, uh, RPMs on each engine, uh, GPS speed and the uh, engine temperature. Uh, this is uh, also shows you another way to show it. You can see fuel flow rate, voltage, um, boost pressure, engine temperature, RPMs. Uh, we can see fuel level as well on tank. This is a screen for fuel consumption. This calculated uh, range 
from the multifunction display speed rpms and intent but this level is coming off the uh, the engine gateway as well for the fuel